What's going on, dickweeds? Taco salad, hey? Fucking rights. There's black olives and tomatoes and cheese and lettuce and there's hamburger meat with taco spice and there's cottage cheese and some other stuff in there. And I'm not sure exactly what, but it tastes really fucking good, hey? And uh, here's Donna. Hi. Are ya? Mm-hmm. Edibles today? Just weeds. Yes. Huh. Donna's eating the same thing over there. She's drinking a Canada Dry ginger ale. I'm drinking Tropicana orange juice, 100% orange juice. The good s fuck, hey? You made me fuck that up, Donna. I seen your eyeballs looking at me. They kept twitching. <laughs> anyway, 100% pure orange juice. The good kind, not the fucking cheap kind, hey? And, uh, yeah. We're smoking, uh, bluefin tuna from Kootenai Botanicals. It's really good stuff. Gets you high. You get the munchies. Uh, all kinds of different shit. Hey? Anyway, uh, here's Charlie the Labradoodle. Looking for fallen pieces of stuff. Hey, Charlie? You got anything to say? Hey? No? Nothing? No no words today? Alright then. I'm gonna stick you cocksuckers on the counter. Move the weeds. Donna! Why? I saw your coochie under the table. No, you didn't. Fucking right I did. I know what I've seen. I almost went blind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have anything before I sit down? Mm -mm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You feel like you're in the middle? Mm -mm. Perfect. My notes, eh? I had stuck to the back of the orange juice container. <laughs> uh, today's Saturday. What's the weather like, Donna? Mm. She was ooting a boot earlier. I never went to work today. Cold enough for. You need your winter jacket, but yeah. you don't need, you wouldn't need a scarf. You wouldn't need a scarf? No. You need a winter jacket, but no scarf. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. Like, to keep you warmer. Okay. <laughs> you don't need to be warmer today. You don't need to be warmer today? No. It's you don't need to be warmer today. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Uh, Donna was talking about the Quebec curfew. Mm -hmm. A I, heavy police presence, you said. Love it. I'll even 
It says heavy police presence expected across Quebec as the curfew starts at eight tonight. There's fucking people that groups that are ready that are going to be protesting. Are they? Mm-hmm. So we better get the uh, the TV on later. There's they've already <coughs> these groups already said that, and the fines are between one thousand and six thousand. Per person? Mm-hmm. Sounds like there's going to be some fines given out tonight, eh? And if you're over 14, I guess 14 to... What do they consider an adult over in Quebec? The same as here, 18? I'm not sure. I don't know, whatever their thing is, like... So when you're in that span, 14 to whatever, mm -hmm. your fine will be $500. And uh, I was going to say something else about this. Donna was going to say uh, something else about this. Something about the... Uh, oh, yeah. I was reading about it because I first I thought it was 10, but it's 8 till 5.30 in the morning or something like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It says businesses will st have to start shutting down at 7.30, like, to make... Well, what the fuck? So it's only going to be what open? Hospital and, and pharmacy? I guess so. Right, it says businesses... You haven't got a pizza ordered up? No, because I guess it wouldn't be... Well, maybe is food... It, is, is it in the... What if you didn't get time to go to the grocery store? Like, let's say you were working all day, right? I'm, I would think maybe that's, I don't know, is that a, considered essential? If you're watching and you live in Quebec, let us know what the rules are. I don't know if we got anybody from Quebec watching, Donna. I'm not sure. Or if you know somebody, you know, like people have relatives that live in Quebec. Well, there you go. If you've got a relative that lives in Quebec and you heard the rules, leave a comment down below. Let us know what the rules are. Are you allowed to order a pizza? Or you fucked the well, morning? Yeah, like what is? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm, I, you know what? And if all goes well, right? Watch every, watch other provinces go and try to do it. I don't know how big Quebec is of a province, like population wise. Uh -huh. But like, could you imagine if they. It's a pretty big place. If they. I'm sure they're going to have protests then in every place, right? It's not just going to be in Quebec if, if it was in Ontario here or something, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure people would go out and protest their rights. Possibility? So no matter what, I guess there's... A, is it going to work? Probably not. Probably not. Nobody listens no more. The time for talk is over. Like I was saying, Donna was eating a boot earlier. And you said it was dead out. Yeah, it's not. I don't know where everybody is. I said to Ed, they must be like, you know on their skidoos or fucking ice fishing or whatever because it's it's really not it's not that busy out like you know like on weekends you know there's lots of it's Timmins is not that big of a place to begin with but there's more there's a lot of traffic on the weekend mm -hmm. it wasn't like that when I went and it wasn't like that when I went earlier either so I I, I don't know Huh. Sorry about the boring video, but it's been really boring around here. The weather looks fucked. What did you say it was like outside? It was like minus, I think minus nine or ten out, but... The trees are all white. They've been like that since, uh, well... I guess sometime overnight, right? 
I don't know. I didn't notice until today, so maybe I guess so. But like it's it hasn't warmed up enough, or even you know what I mean. Sure. It looks scary. It looks scary. Anyway, the only other thing I have on the notes here that Donna said was she was at Dollarama and she was telling me a story about a hobolo. Okay. Now, I have, I have some problems with this story. Donna has problems with this story. Okay, I got to the dollar store and uh, I looked up and there was this young guy. Uh, you could tell like he's homeless and he goes and looks in the thing for smoke butts. Like I just got there. I, I just happened to look up and this is what I saw. Okay, I wasn't stalking the guy. <laughs> She wasn't stalking the hole below. She got there and this is what she saw. And he, he was looking for some dirty cigarette butts. Where? So at the over at the dollar store there. So just on the sidewalk. Yeah, there? you know that uh, big path there. Like okay. if it, you know what I'm talking about. Closer to the end, this side over here, where the where the weed store, the new one, supposed to open but never did yet. So it's closer to that side over there. Okay, so. He picks up a butt, right? And yeah. then he goes over and um, he, he puts his hand in the trash can, right? And I was thinking, like, you gotta be fucking, like, you, you have to be starving, in my opinion. You have to be really fucking hungry to, to look in the garbage. Because I was thinking, like, I could just look, like, you could say, Donna, go eat, like, as a joke, right? Like, if you, and right away your response is gonna be, like, no, because it's whatever. So I'm thinking, like, Anyways, I go into the into the dollar store, and they call the fucking security scan. Oh, before all that, okay, there was an Indian, a Canadian Indian guy, bigger guy. He was, like, standing outside. He was, like, now to think of the scenario, he must have been standing there in case the girl got caught stealing because, you know, he was pretty tall and stuff like that. Like, he had some meat on his bones. And so he goes, like, he goes like this to the the young guy and the guy gives him lends him his uh lighter okay and then i go into the store and then they called for a security scan and who's the young guy uh the homeless guy okay uh, i I'll call him the young guy <laughs> anyways um they call a security scan at the dollar store so this this fucking indian girl canadian indian girl out of nowhere just fucking pops up in front of me okay now I didn't think about it until like later, way fucking hours after, but she came out and she got in front of me, right? But there was a little bit of a lineup at the dollar store, like it went past all the chips and the chocolate bars here and came around to where it's open. I was there, there was a bigger girl in front of me, okay, anyways, the girl was not there, the Indian girl was not in there, but when I got outside, she was already out there. And her and this Indian guy were sharing a bag of chips, okay? Okay. The Lay's chips. Now... They were Lay's chips. The, 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 the regular ones. In the yellow bag. <laughs> I know. The, this is how I know, because I was just disgusted in... And the guy that, that gave the Indian guy a lighter, like he... And the Indian guy seen what I seen too. I wasn't there was other people around that seen him put his hand in the garbage. It wasn't like he he was he just didn't care. You must have just been that hungry that you just fucking reach in and feel around, right? Well they still are fucking eating a bag of fucking stolen chips, right? And the fucking guy's laying on the sidewalk. He just like he just fucking You just laid down there. I didn't even have any change on me to get to him. He just laid down there, like, <coughs> fuck, I thought... So, the moral of your story, is what you're getting at is, the Indian guy... And the girl that stole the fucking chips... Mooched the light off of the ho hobolo. Yes. And they wouldn't even share their chips with them. Yeah. Huh! Like, what, what the fuck is Cock that? Cocksuckers, eh? Like... Couldn't even give him a fucking chip? Even if you... See them do you're not supposed to judge fucking people. If you didn't want to get his hand in your chip bag, just dump a couple in his hand. You could have done that. I didn't have any change, otherwise I would have said here, fuck. Like you know fuck 
I uh, I think they can go into Tim Hortons and stuff. I think you just can't sit in there because it's like that's against the rules. I didn't even have like I didn't have anything to give to him, and I think that's fucking sad. Like this, you know. And that's wrong of the girl that's fucking stealing the fucking chips and like standing around fucking smiling like you're all hardcore. Like you're fucking not. You stole from the dollar store. Yeah, you're not that hard. You stole from the dollar store. They don't even chase you there. No. At most they say don't come back here. And I'm calling the cops. I mean, what? Yeah. The cops, even if the cops show up, there's not going to be a warrant out for your fucking arrest. <laughs> So, yeah, my, that is my moral of the story, that, you know what, if somebody helps you with something, then you shouldn't turn, <coughs> you shouldn't look the other way when they need help with something. Shouldn't turn the other way when people need fucking help, especially if they give you a fucking light. Mm-hmm. That calls for a couple fucking chips at least. Right, Donna? You yeah. thought? Um. I usually don't give money to homeless people because who knows what they're gonna do with it. <coughs> I usually give them food or something that I'm carrying around with me. I usually got some in the car, eh? They look at me all weird, but you know. I have given. Well, there's some now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I usually um, I have I have done before. I have uh, I have I have asked somebody. You know, do you need a do you want a coffee? Because it was cold as fuck outside, mm -hmm. and and they said yes. And. And I don't, like, I like doing, like, like, I have McDonald's fucking a card over there already full. Like, I can give that to a homeless person and they can go get themselves a free coffee at McDonald's. But I don't like fucking doing that. I, like, I don't like saying that to somebody, like, okay, I'll be right back. Because they look at you like you're fucking lying. Like, you know what, like, they must have been told that, you know, 25 fucking times already today. And they just have this look in their eye, like, they're like, they seem like, that. they're like, okay, but you could just tell, you know, and, when you know you could see somebody's fucking eyes, like you could see the, the you know the emotion. <laughs> well, but I still will ask. Do you, you want a coffee? Hang on, I'll be back. I'll get you a coffee. I think though, like the homeless shelters up here must kick them out during the day. They must. Probably want them to go look for a job or something, don't know. Instead of going look for a job, they go and where are they gonna look for a job? Way outside the Tim Hortons or somewhere. Where, but they're. Where I don't know. I don't know where they're gonna look for a job. Everybody's got to find their own way in life. I know, but it's hard for some. I don't know what I don't know what your abilities are. Some people, you know, judge a person by the way they dress. A lot of people, places do. Um. If they have torn up clothes and stuff like that, then they're not getting a job. You know what they should do? With all the people that give to the fucking churches and stuff like that, right? Yeah. They should have a fucking thing for for people that, you know, have job interviews and stuff like that. Like a decent pair of pants and a shirt and a pair of shoes or boots or whatever. Eh? They should. And that's all I have to talk about. That's all Donna has to talk about. Did you ever own a camera when you were a kid? I remember Maybe. With the film, that, the little fucking, you know, that little black uh, Yeah, I don't Yeah, I, I don't think I owned one, but my parents owned one. I got one when I was, uh, one of my birthdays, I don't know how, 
film has been fucking expensive in the day to print or something like that because I always used to get fucking yelled at because I would take I would take pictures of Hercules on TV like the cartoon <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> what the fuck for? Just to play with my camera sometimes. There was nothing to take pictures of inside the house. So I would watch Hercules and take pictures of it. My mom would scream at me after she'd go get them fucking printed up. <laughs> I There was one time I got the camera taken away from me for a while until I stopped taking pictures of Hercules. <laughs> My bowl. What else you got to talk about? I don't know. I've been doing all the talking. Uh, what You're else? the only one left the house today. Well, there's not much to see out there. People just seem. Even the people that are shopping. <coughs> yeah. There's not a lot of chit chat, like even at that grocery store. There's not. No chit chat. No, like people. Just how the fuck can you go shopping and not hear some chit chat? That's what I'm saying. That's how quiet it is. It's like people are at the stores just to get what they went there for, and they don't. Everybody looks like they want to tell you to fuck off. So. <laughs> I don't like. There was no chit chat. There was a fucking these two fucking. I don't know. They look like bar whores that were at the <laughs> Yeah. At the Food Basics. Some bar whores. <laughs> Donna saw bar whores at Food Basics. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, but I can imagine what you're, what you're going to say. I don't, this is going to come out wrong, but They have the build of like one of my aunts, but my aunt's not a bar whore. <laughs> Which one of your aunts? My aunt Joss. <laughs> my, my aunt Joss is not a bar whore. <laughs> but you don't like that build. Her aunt Joss ain't a bar whore. She's just built like one. <laughs> That's what you're trying to say. <laughs> yeah, like body. Well, Hopefully your aunt Joss is not watching. I hope not. <laughs> Or anybody that I'm related to that's gonna, you know, run back <laughs> and tell. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Your Aunt Joss is probably watching the fucking video and all of a sudden you start saying she looks like a bar whore. No, her the body her body looks like a bar whore. <laughs> She's probably sitting there going, Fuck! Hey! When I see you, Donna! <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what she's saying. She's probably commenting underneath right now. Donna, next time I fucking see you. <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that. Well, anyways, you know like that type of build? The bar whores have a certain type of build and they're all built the same. So, anyways. <laughs> they're no taller than 5'6", but they're usually at... <laughs> <coughs> Leave a comment down below if Donna's uh, description of a bar whore meets your description. This is what a bar whore looks like. Before we go any further, I'm just going to say it. So they're no taller than 5'6". They have a very like skeleton-like frame. Okay. They have uh, the, br the bangs. They all have bangs to go here and the rest of their hair is long. You know, <laughs> usually brown. They got tons of fucking rings all on their fingers. You see them all at the, at the bars. The yeah, bar. There goes a couple of our subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, anyways, there's two of them in the fucking aisle. And there was an old lady in front of me. There's there some old people out today that had either patches on over their eye or like gauze. And I got stuck following the lady with the gauze. Like, it was this big patch like this big okay and she was she was having a hard time like, was there any discharge no it was all pink <laughs> was it leaking down her cheek no i was just happened to end up following her and she i had a great grandmother who only had one eyeball 
I asked my dad one day what happened to well that my great grandmother was my dad's grandmother so I, I asked him what happened to his grandmother's eye how come she only had one and my dad said it's because she was fucking around when she was a little kid and just wouldn't listen or something like that anyways <laughs> something along them lines <laughs> just fucking around when she was a little kid poked her eye out <laughs> that's all I know anyway Nobody wants to hear about that. Let's go back to Donna's one-eyed old people stories. Okay. The old lady was here, and I was here. This is the old lady, this is me. Uh-huh. The bar whores were beside us, kind of here. There was one in the front grabbing of the items that the other one was telling her to grab that was pushing the cart. Now, where their cart was and where me and the old lady's cart was, anyways, instead of saying excuse me or whatever, they just come fucking barging through, right? They hit uh, my... Yeah, they That's how bar whores are. Yeah. They're definitely bar whores. They just, you know, they hit my fucking cart. Oh, fuck. And so they hit the old lady's cart. The old lady turned around, but she only had the one eye, so... <laughs> so she, she couldn't see who the fuck hit her at first. She had to turn fully around the... I'm telling you. The one fucking, uh, the one that was pushing the cart that did it, I just, she turned around, our fucking eyes, like, well, I, me and her, like, we just, you know when you look at somebody, I don't know if it's like, do you ever look at another, like, look up at another guy, or another guy, like, you guys just look at each other, and you just want to, like, beat the fucking shit out of each other? Sounds like the 80s when Hulk Hogan used to look at his opponent. <laughs> and she, like, like that, you just, like, looking at their start. face going... <sighs> I was more like... You know what I'm talking about? They blowing each other's face all weird. Okay, well, I was more like Ultimate Warrior because I could feel the adrenaline. I was just like, fuck, say something, you know? So instead of shaking the rope, she was shaking the fucking... I was gripping onto the fucking cart. The grocery cart. She did, and like the bar whores always are, right? They'll, they'll look at you mean, mean, right? But then they turn around and walk the other way. I was gonna give her fucking shit for hitting. I don't care if you hit my cart, but there's an old fucking lady there that's missing a fucking eye right now, and you fucking banged her cart. Yeah. A little fucking respect. Fuck, I almost hit my weeds. <laughs> Fuck! Hey! Almost <laughs> fucked up my own shit. I hit a pile of weeds over there. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And that's it. That's all. That was... That was your day? That was my day. There wasn't really much. Huh. My day was quite boring. Sort of. Not really. I smoked a lot of weeds. Did absolutely fuck all. Oh, we did a weeds review. Then did a little bit more of fuck all. Smoked some more weeds. Got the shakes a little bit. Need some sugar. Ate some McDonald's. Donna hit up the McDonald's earlier. Buck 49 for medium fries with a coupon. Yep, got some cheap fries. Don only buys things when she has coupons. She's cheap as fuck these days. Okay? Cheap old. And they let you keep the coupon. You just have to say, I have a coupon. And they say, okay. You have to let you see it for next time. Except there's one lady that works there. And every time the coupons come out, if she is working, she just always says, can I see the coupon? And you just have to show it up to her. What should we review tomorrow, Donna? We're doing a review video tomorrow morning. There might be another video tonight. We're thinking about making a perfect, a perfect, a perfect <laughs> snack for after you hit the stack video. We're gonna be hitting the stack for a while, and Donna's got a bunch of stuff there, and. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because... It'll be a surprise. Yeah, we don't want to ruin the surprise. Okay? 
So anyway, what do you want to review, Donna? We got two joints in there. We got some poaches of weeds. We got some. We got some shatter. We got a vape pen, and just more poaches of weeds. Um. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter. What's this one? That's called Mike Tyson. It probably packs a punch. <laughs> Um, I'm serious, it's called Mike Tyson. Your hands aren't all full of taco juice, is it? No. I don't want taco juice in my weeds box. Anyway, Mike Tyson. That's not what we're reviewing, is it? No. Berry, diesel, and sweet. Huh. Uh, I don't care, you pick. I'm kind of interested in this pen. It's a sativa, super lemon haze. I think, okay, if it's, we've, I'm pretty sure we've done lemon haze. But not super lemon haze. No. One, this is I, super. But I remember lemon haze being good. Want to do this? Okay. Okay, well, tomorrow morning, we're going to review this vape pen. Clearx, or is it Clearx? <laughs> Super Lemon Haze Sativa, one milliliter. Uh, there's not very much on the box, but... Uh, uh, fuck! Hey, uh, we'll give you a close-up tomorrow. Come and check it out tomorrow morning. We need to open up the vape pen so we can get some extra dope into us during the day. Hey, Fucking right. So, anything else to talk about? No. You gave me too much food, Donna. I just finished eating McDonald's about an hour ago. And she whips this up. Save it. Save it? I saved that. It looks like shit. It's gonna look gross later if you save it. You can't save taco salad. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like saving your fried egg for later. No, it's not. That's <laughs> disgusting. Who would do that? <laughs> you. You'd fucking do that. I've seen people eat old, cold, dirty fried eggs, but I've never seen somebody save it. <laughs> Happy egg. Yeah, you save this for later. Don used to do that. She'd have yolk on her chin. She'd wrap it up the other half. That's not true, because I didn't like uh, eggs. <laughs> not till recently. Anyway, you got anything else to talk about tonight? No. Nothing else to talk about. But if you guys want to hang out a little longer, don't worry. We got another video coming up later. Uh, perfect snack for after hitting the stack. Eh? That kind of video. So, come and check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stuff too. And shit. Eh? Mm -hmm. And that way you'll know when something... Comes out. Comes out. You won't miss it. Like how Donna misses stuff. Don't be like Donna, miss things. Be up on things. Like me. Eh? Anyway. I'm gonna get in my road toke. I see we got some new subscribers. Cigarette holder to yous. Old subscribers. People watching that aren't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button and stick around. We upload something every day, sometimes a few things. We never leave you hanging like a cock. <laughs> so, boop! Hit the button, stick around, watch some videos, get to know us, and, uh, yeah. Hey? Okay. Final words, Donna. Stay happy and stay safe. And be kind. Enjoy your Saturday and the weekend. <laughs> and that's it. Was it last night I gave you shit or night before? For what? Snoring. Neither. No, I did. I gave you shit for snoring, but it wasn't you. What do you mean it wasn't me? <laughs> you don't remember that? I think it was last night. I woke Dawn up at 2 or 3 a.m. 
And I said to her, Stop fucking snoring, no! I can't fucking sleep! Yeah, it, was, it wasn't even me, it was Charlie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Charlie was fucking snoring. <laughs> it was Charlie on the fucking floor. <laughs> I woke down and gave her shit for nothing. That was it not was fucking loud, and as I was giving her shit, she goes, What? 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 I can hear Charlie, eh? <sighs> like, really fucking loud. <laughs> You remember that? Yeah, it wasn't last night, because last night... It was the night before then. Yeah, last <laughs> night, um, that's last night when it was when you looked up at me, right? Or maybe it was, that was the same... No, that wasn't last night. That was the night before this happened, two nights ago. And fell asleep on the left seat, and then he looks up at me, and he asks me if the sun has come out. I asked you that? <laughs> You're like, did the sun come out yet? And I, was, and I looked over at you, right? And I was like, what? You're like, did the sun come out yet? What time is it? I've been waking up at, well, between 3 and 4 a.m. Yeah. I don't know why I've been getting up way too early, ever since I quit drinking. Get up at 3 or 4 a.m. and Downstairs. start hitting the stack, eh? And, yeah, sometimes it's just lose track of the time and Donna thinks it's funny. You almost choked? Yeah. Again? On what? She's always choking on something. No, I'm okay. It's, I can feel it slowly moving. Want some orange juice? I got bought. <coughs> um, quickly, before we end this, uh, I just have a quick question for you. If you did not smoke weed, yeah. what... And you got and and you still quit drinking, right? Mm -hmm. What would you be doing at three or four o'clock in the morning? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I get up at three or four a.m. I come down and smoke my weeds, and I usually check and see if you guys commented on under the video, and I'll answer you guys. Or sometimes some of you guys will send me a message on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter and. I'll answer those, and some of you guys are still up too. I'm not the only one up at three or four. Some of these cocksuckers are still up. They'll send me a message, and I'll send them a message back, and I'll see them pop up right away, and they'll start fucking chatting, and yeah. So I guess I'm not totally alone. Donna here, she stays upstairs the whole time snoring. Well, first, second of all, I don't have a big Facebook. I only. I don't have a big Facebook either. Same size as yours. Mm -hmm. Your friend list is huge. Not really. I don't even know half the people on my Facebook. Yeah, that's a problem. See? And the other half I'm fucking related to. So, who talks to relatives? Hey, There's too many of them. I need to know about you before you go on my Facebook. Yeah, if you want, if you want to be on Donna's Facebook, she has to know who you are first. She don't just let anybody on. She's got rules. <laughs> I let anybody on because I don't give a fuck. I don't really use Facebook except for to share my videos, and sometimes we do the uh, the live thing. Mhm. Mm so. Mm. We don't got fuck all else to talk about. So, we're gonna fuck off out of here, smoke some more weeds, try to eat the rest of this shit, smoke some more weeds. Bang! Oh. Smoke some more weeds, watch some YouTube videos, and um. <laughs> Keep on <up> smoking weeds. <laughs> so until next time, like, subscribe, and fuck off! Hey!